How's it going troops? Jordan here back again with a new video and we're back in with another commentary but uh, today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty 2016 because we are in 2016 and there is another Call of Duty game that is going to be coming out later on this year and I wanted to have a little bit of discussion, a little bit of a talk about you know the reasons for what it could be and you know why it could be but um, you know there's been a lot of a debate about whether it's Ghost 2 or whether it's going to be Modern Warfare 4 um, and I want to go uh, throughout the reasons of why it could be and why it might not be, etc, etc. So, first of all, we're going to be going through the things that we already know about this game. So, we do know, like I said, that there is another Call of Duty game coming out this year. And it is being developed by Infinity Ward, so it is Infinity Ward's turn this year, which I'm very, very happy about. We know that Mark Rubin, who was the executive producer at Infinity Ward, uh, I believe he did it for all of the Modern Warfares and, obviously, Ghosts. Um, but he left shortly after Ghost was released. Uh, he made his departure after being there since Call of Duty 2, which is, is quite a long time. So uh, I was quite sad to see him go because he took a lot of flack, you know, for you know the issues that Ghost had, and uh, you know I kind of felt a bit sorry for him in a way. But um, unfortunately, he left, and uh, I don't know right now who's the current executive producer. Obviously, there must have been someone else that's has now stepped up to the plate, but. Um, uh, Mark Rubin is no longer at Infinity Ward, and uh, speaking of people that are no longer, we're going to be talking about Todd Alderman, because as we all know, he was a former multiplayer designer for Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2, who then left after the whole debate between Activision and uh, and uh, Infinity Ward, and obviously the you know the the issue that happened there. Um, he then uh, left Infinity Ward and went off with a lot of the guys that also left Infinity Ward, and then uh, formed Respawn Entertainment. And they obviously developed Titanfall, which I think is a fantastic game to play. Um, he then went on to write games, which we know as the developers of League of Legends. And then he returned to Infinity Ward last year. But then after four months of being in Infinity Ward, he then left Infinity Ward and is now working back at Respawn Entertainment. So it, uh, there's been a lot of things I've said there. So obviously he, he was a multiplayer designer for Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. He then left the you know the Call of Duty series. He then came back to work with Infinity Ward last year. He was only there for four months and then he left again and is now working at Respawn Entertainment. Now what a lot of people were you know thinking to themselves, oh he left, maybe that's because he saw that it was Ghost 2 and he didn't like what he saw, you know, and he thought, fuck that, you know, I'm out. I mean, I guess that could be a possibility, but I doubt it's that. I mean he got a job offer saying, you know, hey, you know, we want you to come back at Respawn to help us work on projects and whatnot and he took the opportunity because he's worked with a lot of the guys at Respawn who were also you know developers uh, on Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 so it makes sense for him to go back to his co-workers his friends and people that he's known for such a long time. We know that Infinity Towards last game was Call of Duty Ghosts which most of the community didn't like it although to be honest I thought it was an okay game I mean it definitely wasn't the best but I definitely wouldn't say it's the worst I say Advanced Warfare is probably the worst Call of Duty game that I've ever played. Um, I definitely would say that. But uh, Ghost was nowhere near the worst, but it definitely was not the best in any way. Um, so now we've you know kind of established some of the facts about this game and about the developers and how it's been treated. Let's move on to the reasons as to why it could be Call of Duty Ghost 2 coming out this year. So the first reason is that the ending of Ghost basically told us that yes, there is a huge possibility that a Ghost 2 could happen. It was basically a cliffhanger that was left untold. That's the first reason. The second reason is that Ghost was meant to be the start of a new story arc, so it would make sense for the developers to move on and carry on with that new story arc. The third reason is that Modern Warfare 3 pretty much ended with the Modern Warfare series. I mean, there wasn't really nothing to it afterwards. And that was pretty much the end of it. And it's time for Infinity War to move forward with the Ghost story arc. And finally, the last reason is that Infinity War's last game was Ghosts, so it would make sense for Infinity War to develop Ghosts 2. So uh, those were the reasons that I could think of as to why Ghost 2 could be happening. As you can see, there's only like four reasons there. And uh, I've got a lot of other reasons for Modern Warfare 4, which we're going to be talking about now. So uh, moving on to reasons as to why Modern Warfare 4 could be coming out this year. Now, like I said, there are quite... Quite a lot of reasons here as to why I would think it. So uh, the first reason is that no one wants Ghost 2. Like, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I liked Ghost. I thought, like I said, I thought it was an okay game. But I really don't want a Ghost 2. I much prefer to have a Modern Warfare 4. And a lot of other people prefer that as well. No one wants to see Ghost 2. 
<laughs> I mean, I know it sounds very generalizing, but let's face it, the majority of the COD community does not want a Ghost 2. That's just a fact. The second reason as to why it could be Modern Warfare 4 is that Ghost was originally planned to be Modern Warfare 4, and because it was planned, it doesn't rule out the possibility that Modern Warfare 4 can still happen. The third reason is that everyone loved the Modern Warfare series, so why not go back? That's pretty much a good reason as to why they could go in Modern Warfare 4, because everyone enjoyed the series, and if everyone enjoyed it, it makes sense to make Modern Warfare 4, because everyone will probably enjoy that. My fourth reason is that no one wants future. Now, before anyone starts, you know, making any comments in regards to this reason, uh, even though Ghosts felt very modernish, it was still set in the year 2027, which a lot of people, you know, probably won't believe, but it actually was set in the year 2027. It started off uh, in, like, the first mission, the first part of it was in 2017, and then you had the thing that came up 10 years later. So it was set in 2027. And not only that, though, but it did feature some futuristic tech, like, for example, the tracker site. So even though it did feel modernish, it was still set in the near future. Plus, Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare were set in the future, and a lot of people just don't like the future setting, pretty much like me. I really, really don't like future. I think Black Ops 3 is a, a decent Call of Duty game, but, you know, I wish it wasn't future. I wish it was just, you know, either near future like Black Ops 2, or even some time in the past. You know, I don't want future. I, I much prefer Call of Duty to be what it's known to be, and that is something relatable, not something far-fetched. My fifth reason for Modern Warfare 4 is that if people see Ghost 2, people won't buy into it. And that's pretty much just a fact. Like I said, I am kind of generalizing here, but for the most part, people won't be interested in Ghost 2. They'll go, oh, Ghost 2, great. Oh, I'm skipping out this year and I'm sticking with Black Ops 3 or, or Black Ops 2 or whatnot. That's just how people will react. Whereas if people see that, hey, look, Modern Warfare 4 coming out this November, you know, people will definitely buy into it because they'll remember how great the Modern Warfare series was and how enjoyable it was, and they'll go, hey, I love Modern Warfare, I'm going to go buy it, you know, I'm going to pre-order, whatever it is. Not only that, though, but people will also recognise the Modern Warfare brand as something positive compared to Ghost, where they'll probably recognise it as something negative. So uh, that is my fifth reason as to why I think that Modern Warfare 4 could be coming out this year. My sixth reason is that back in Call of Duty 4, now this is kind of a spoiler alert, even though it's not because, let's face it, Call of Duty 4 has been out for nearly 10 years now, but um, once Imran Zakayev is killed, there was pretty much no incentive of a sequel. But then, a couple of years later, Modern Warfare 2 came out and took place five years after the events of Call of Duty 4, so it's a possibility that Modern Warfare 4 could be set not long after the events of Modern Warfare 3. My seventh reason is that everyone loves modern and known weapons like the ACR, the UMP-45, the MP5, and the Intervention. You know, when you think of those weapons, you think, oh, you know, I love those weapons, those were great. You know, you know, can we have them back? You know, I mean, that's kind of how I feel, but, um, you know, a lot of people love the known weapons like them, and, you know, they remember how great they were and how popular they were, you know, whereas you've got things like the Man O' War, and people are like, what? You know, what is this Man O' War? Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the fact that it's known and they're quite popular and I think that's why, you know, a lot of people like modern weapons and known weapons. Um, that's just kind of how it is. Moving on to my eighth reason is that everyone loves the characters on the Modern Warfare series. Now, the, despite a lot of characters being killed off, there are still characters that are alive like Price and Frost. So, the, you know, it's still a possibility that we can have those characters back in a Modern Warfare 4. My ninth reason is that pro perks would pretty much be guaranteed since Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 had them. Not to mention the fact that I really do miss pro perks, and I know that I'm not the only one that does. There are plenty of people, you know, that really love pro perks and they want to, you know, have them back. So Modern Warfare 4 would pretty much guarantee pro perks. My tenth reason is that Modern Warfare guarantees no jetpacks, boosting, or thrusting of any kind. Now, this is pretty much due to the fact that the title is Modern Warfare and it is set in modern setting. So, you know, jetpacks, I doubt it. Thrusting, I doubt it. Boost jumps, I doubt it. You know, whereas if we take a look at Ghost 2, it could still have these movement mechanics because it's still set in the near future. And not to mention the fact that Ghost had space warfare and the astronauts in space had jetpack boosters. So it's pretty much not far off from having jetpacks full stop. Which is why, you know, the Modern Warfare series would pretty much guarantee no jetpacks or, you know, double jumps or anything of that. 
And finally, my last reason is that Modern Warfare 3 sold more and made more money in 16 days than Ghost did in 3 months and probably even did throughout its life cycle. And we all know what Activision are like, after all they do love making money, so Modern Warfare 4 would be the better option for Activision in order to make lots and lots of lovely cash. So those were pretty much the main reasons as to why uh, you know, it could be Ghost 2 coming out this year, but also reasons as to why it could be Modern Warfare 4 coming out this year. I'll be there were some more reasons for Modern Warfare 4, but that's mainly because I can think of more reasons as to why many people would want to see a Modern Warfare 4 over a Call of Duty Ghost 2. So well, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What Call of Duty game would you like to see coming out this year? Do you want it to be Ghost 2? Or do you want it to be Modern Warfare 4? Or do you want it to be something entirely new? Or maybe something that we can go back on that we've left out? Uh, I'll be interested to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, then do give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. Let's try and end for 10 likes. And until next video, I thank you all for watching. Stay true to my troops. And I'll see you in game.